Hi there, my name is Jeremy Jansen and I'm the developer of Viral Outbreak. Viral Outbreak is both a VSTI plugin for PC and a reason for refill for both PC and Mac. In case you don't already know, the sounds in Viral Outbreak are based on and inspired by the Virus TI hardware synthesizer. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the capabilities of the Reason Refill for you. Viral Outbreak comes packed with 235 combinators. You might notice that some other refills have quite a bit more than that included. But you need to ask the question, are those unique and useful combinators or just templates with different waveforms plugged in? In the case of Viral Outbreak, there's definitely a focus on quality and unique sound design in every patch. Each combinator has been crafted from scratch, with all four combinator knobs and buttons programmed specifically for each patch. This attention to detail really pays off in the inspiration these sounds will bring to your music. Let's have a look at some of the combinators now. I've picked 10 of my favorite sequenced combinators and we'll jam with them for a bit. In these demos, no MIDI notes are played, instead I'm just tweaking the knobs and buttons of the combinators. The first combinator we're going to look at is by Adam Fielding and it's called Run Johnny 157. The first two knobs control different patterns that are contained in each matrix pattern sequencer. Let's listen if we change some of the patterns up. We can change the decay on the ARP. Remove its filter. Now let's change the pattern of the pad. the pads filter. This next patch is called Virus Body, also by Adam Fielding. This is from the FX and Atmos Sequences folder. As you can see, Adam has worked with the knobs and buttons a little bit differently for this patch. There aren't any filter cutoff, decay, etc. knobs. Um, they're all instead mapped to different parts of the virus body. It makes for a little bit more of a creative sound design patch. Let's experiment a bit.
essentially what we have here is four different elements that we can fade in and out and four different modifiers for those elements. The next patch we're going to look at is called Breaker Set by Adam Fielding. It contains two elements controlled by the first two knobs. Right now we're just listening to the pulse element. We can modify that with knob 3 and button 3 as well as button 2. By pushing shift type, we're actually modifying the vocoder that Adam is running the pulse through. Now let's fade the Atmo in. Let's change the filter type of the pulse. The next patch we're going to look at is called Cloverfield by Nick Hutton. It starts out with a bass element. We can adjust the cutoff frequency, and we can add some movement to the bass. Let's bring a pad in. This third knob controls whether the pad is modulated by the EQ down here. You can see the EQ dynamically moving. Let's listen to what it sounds like on the pad. We can also change the range that the EQ is sweeping. There's one more element we can still bring in. Let's 